Blaze, level two upgrade. And there you have it, Losi's threaded axle set. These were donated to me by RC Guys 100. Thanks a ton, man. Anyways, this is one of those upgrades that you pretty much have to get for your Micro T, especially if you plan on switching out the tires, because on their stock is the stupid little Eclipse, and those things are a huge pain to take off and put back on. So this is pretty much going to eliminate that whole hassle. First step is to go ahead and remove all four tires. To get this little clip off, I'm going to go ahead and use some tweezers and literally just pry it right on off. And now I'm going to do that with the other four tires. Once you get all those clips off, the tire easily comes right on off. Now to go ahead and replace the front axles, what I need to do is undo this single screw on top. Once you pull the screw out, the axle can easily slide out of the steering block. Just like that. Now, to replace it, all you have to do is get the new one, slide it in, line everything back up, and then reinsert that screw. And there we go. I don't have to tighten it all the way down because, well, it's a micro. <laughs> the screw is not going to be coming undone. Now it's the same exact process for the other front axle. And now the other side is done. For the back, it's pretty much the same thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this bottom screw that holds the axle carrier to the A-arm. Once you pull out the screw, the whole axle carrier will be able to be pulled off. And now this is where you got to be careful because, yes, the dry shaft is going to fall off. Go and set that off to the side, and now you have full access to take out the rear axle. So we're just going to slide that out, grab the new one, and slide it right back into where the old one was. Now we're going to get the dry shaft. You'll see that there are little notches on each side that simply slides into the groove. And then you're going to do the same exact thing to the axle itself. Then you just got to go ahead and slide it all back together put back in the screw and you are done, at least with one side. All right, now it's time to go ahead and do the final axle. And we are done installing all of the axles. Now it is incredibly easy to go ahead and install the tires. All you have to do is slide the tire on and then install the nut. And there you go. You don't want to tighten the front nuts too much. You want the tires to spin freely. Now for the rear, what you're gonna have to do is you'll see that there is a flat side to the axle that goes to the corresponding flat side on the wheel. You're going to have to put on both of the rear wheels and then hold both of them down. That way the center diff doesn't allow the axles to spin. Then you can go ahead and tighten the tires. And there we go. The rear tires have been reinstalled. Now just like with the front tires, you don't want to tighten the nut all the way down. You want the wheels to spin freely. And I am done installing this upgrade. Like I mentioned before, guys, once you take that clip off and put it back on, you never, ever want to do it again. It is that big of a pain. So thanks a ton, RC Guys 100 for making this possible. And that was a level two upgrade for Blaze.